back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the uncharted live action fan film made by Alan Unger. Now, when this came out, I was getting ready to leave on for vacation. I could not stop to do a reaction video. It was crazy. So I just want to go over some of my favorite parts and we can talk about how awesome this fucking fan film is. And I know a lot of haters uh, recently, uh, you know who I'm talking about, someone who did an expose on Naughty Dog. Yeah, they weren't too fond of this. They said it would never replace our beloved characters and agreed, nothing can replace our beloved characters. But you know what? This motherfucker did his homework. Alan Unger pulled it off. He has pulled off what Hollywood couldn't fucking pull off in 10 years plus, okay? They've been trying to get this ball rolling for years and years and this guy did it independently by himself took it upon himself and bitch he killed it okay i love everything about this film i love nathan fillion in the role of nathan drake i always thought he'd be a perfect drake we finally have a worthy movie for our Nathan Drake, and I'm so thrilled, I'm so hyped. So like I said, this is coming a week or so after it was released because I was getting ready to go away and away. So I'm going to go over, since I don't wanna get any copyright strikes, I never know with YouTube, if, since it's not a video game, I'm not playing games, so I'll do some still shots and I will go over with you my favorite parts. Some of this, the stills are just perfection. And I absolutely loved it. But let me know what your thoughts are. Not everyone's going to love it. I thought it was incredible. And I thought it was a perfect homage to Drake and the Uncharted universe. So let's get to it. So we open up with a quote, which is par for the course for an Uncharted game. They give us the quote of the explorer or the important figure we're going to be diving into, doing a deep dive into in the gameplay. We're in Baja, Mexico. The location is everything. The trucks pull up. There comes Drake, they have kidnapped him and he's in a hood and they drag him in and they sit him down in this palatial estate. They sit him down, they pull off the hood and it's Nathan Fillion and sassiness ensues. <laughs> so he's already starting with the shenanigans and the smart ass remarks, which are perfection. He really captures the essence of Drake, the sassiness, the toughness. He's just lovable. He's a lovable rogue and a scamp that we love. He's perfect for this. So we have the bad guys, we have the henchmen, and we have Drake with nothing on him but a compass. Then he starts making fun of one of the henchmen's ponytail slash hairdos, uh, and it is everything. So he's starting right out the gate, oh, and he's already getting himself into trouble instantly. Instantly, he has already pissed them off with his sassiness and his attitude, and it is everything. When he says something you care deeply about, I'm gonna take from you, he's like, so does that mean if um, I care deeply about you, you'll leave? And he's like, oh, bitch. And then we see Sully, who is, of course, laying in the cut. He's got his binoculars, he's got his goggles, he's got his cigar, he has his gruff little voice. He's not my perfect pick for Sully. I think I would have liked, cause he kind of like lost the Sully voice like a little bit, but he was a pretty good Sully. So I was happy with him. He wasn't my like first pick. I don't know who would have been my first pick. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. Who would you have liked to have seen as Sully? If if he was your, if you loved him in this, I thought he was pretty good though, to be fair, he was pretty good. So then we see, we're introduced to El Tigre, the, the guy who is going to whoop Nate's ass. Says, hey little guy, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Now that just reminded me of the scene in the Panamanian jail for Uncharted 4 when Nate is in the yard and they are ready to throw down and he's starting trouble so he could get thrown in the brink so he can uh, go about his business looking for his stolen treasure. So that was the first nod that stood out to me as an actual reference from one of the games. So you could tell this director knows his stuff. He knows all the references. He is right there for us and with us and it's awesome. And then we get our first, oh crap. Now that is Nathan Drake's favorite curse word. So that is his favorite curse word. That is his catchphrase. We know it and we love it. And if we didn't hear an oh crap in this, I would have been calling foul, but they brought it. And as he's getting his ass whooped up and down, he has the nerve to to critique 
El Tigre on the way he's getting his ass beat saying uh aren't you supposed to be asking questions in between the ass whooping he literally cannot help himself he his mouth is going to get into him into so much trouble like it always does now this part had me rolling when I saw this part when he is fighting the guy with the ponytail and he's got him and he is reaching back he grabs his hair and he rips off his little ponytail and at first he's like thrilled with himself and he's got like a big smile on his face he could barely contain his excitement like oh, I got this he snatched her edges he ripped them right the fuck out okay so he ripped off the edges the weave the wig glue he fucking snatched it all and he's got it in his hands and then he realizes that he realizes that I'm having way too much fun just talking about this y'all so he realizes he has snatched the edges and he is not having it the face he makes here guys I'm I'm glad I did screenshots instead of the video because you can really appreciate the shookness that he has when he realizes that he has just snatched the edges off this man's life and it is hilarious then he's having a fight he's back with LZ Gray and he is trying to come for him and he is literally doing the the third grader trick where someone's coming for you you got your hand out on the head so they can't reach you so uh they're swinging at you and they're not hitting you and he is just it's just so frustrating for him and hilarious for us because he's such a smart ass he's so fresh he's like no 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 stop 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 and it's like he is scolding him for like trying to hit him it's it is too much the fight between all the henchmen and drake is kicking everyone's ass and he takes everybody out everybody is knocked the fuck out so he's like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna bounce i gotta look for this the secret paperwork and the next name he mentions when he's talking to Sully is Chloe and I was like oh girl Chloe girl is mentioned in here and if they would have showed up with with a with a Chloe in this I think I would have fainted dead on the floor because you know I love Chloe so he says Chloe says the intel is good it's solid so we know Chloe will never steer us wrong so he's trying to find the secret library I have many leather bound books you know this is the room he's headed to they're talking about the treasure they find he finds the map and he does his typical Drake finds the intel and he is going off on a tangent to himself he is talking to himself about it he is just having a time and living in his moment talking about what he found and he's going on to Sully about do you know what this means and of course Sully answers kid when you start doing this nobody knows what you mean when, first of all the kid reference which is we know that Sully always refers to Nate as kid like uh, are you going to tell us what the fuck you all have found and are talking about so we can get the fuck up out of here and and let's go find this every game so that is another reference another nod which was perfection and then the jig is up everybody comes running in to get him he's stuck in this office in this room he has nowhere to go but out the window so the next we see him looking around looking around and then he realizes I'm gonna have to jump so he jumps through the window and we get a great shot from the ground looking up of slow motion and the glass shattering and he falls on the floor and he gets up says just like old times which is just everything you can imagine that happens in an uncharted game and you instantly notice when he starts to get up we're in third person over the shoulder format and this is what blew my mind i couldn't believe it they are filming this like we are playing the game he has merged the two genres together movies and video game and this is something that no one has been able to do this is what hollywood could not do this is what no one has been able to do with the video game movie and he did it so he brought us over the shoulder third person brought us right out into the cutscene into the gameplay and y'all I I was like standing up and cheering I couldn't believe it I was so shook I was like we are in this video game with them right now and he starts shooting at the enemies all hell breaks loose they're shooting at him he's shooting at us and he runs out of bullets he's like looking at his gun he throws it to the side and then we hear the engine revving it's sully he's come to save the day he comes strolling up and it is it, the camera angle shifts just like as if this was part of the cutscene. and now we got to go to sully and we got to jump in the, the jeep and we got to go i couldn't believe how perfectly they were able to merge this and 
Before he gets into Sully's Jeep, this was everything. They get Drake jumping into the air. They get it from a front frontal view. And they had, I watched the behind the scenes video. They had a camera guy and Nathan Fillion strapped to each other like three feet away uh, on a rig. And they had him in the camera, like in the same arc as he was following him in the air as he jumped. It was incredible. It felt like we were living and breathing in our video game, but we're watching it. And it was insane. That was my favorite shot. I literally was like standing up and cheering when I watched this. I really wish I um, was able to do a reaction video for it because I was like hooting and hollering. It was everything. So we get that epic shot of him jumping through the air. We see him in slow-mo as he lands that punch, which just reminded me of Uncharted 4. And we're swinging from the rope and we can just pummel the enemy from the air and take them out and it was it was gorgeous it was absolutely stunning loved it now drake runs off he takes it he's like go 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 it's everything from the game that you love and know and all the references we see and know and love it was like a movie the perfect video game and movie marriage perfect so they run off and they pull up and of course elena is waiting for us i liked elena a lot she's one step ahead of them as usual she knows what's going on uh, and then Sully is like, we got the insurance, right? He's like, I thought you did. So that's typical, especially of Uncharted 4, when they were talking about the Jeep getting the insurance or when they got the, um, the pulley for, you know, the hook and the pulley for when they had to go up the mudslides and everything. I told you we were never going to use this and like they did. Oh, so it was all the references, all the nods. And then what I loved was very subtle line from Sully, which we've all thought about when they get the bracelet and he goes, we're going to break this open, right? I feel like we're always breaking these things open. And especially from Uncharted 2, when Drake is in the museum with Flynn and they have to break the artifact to get to the resin on the inside. So that reminded me of that. So he's like, he's like, let me hang on to that. And then my favorite line from Sully, well, I'll be go to hell. Now, you know, that is a infamous, famous line that Sully always said, like he has said many times. It just shows the amount of love and care the director had for putting into this short action, live action film. And then we get the bracelet with the map, shows us the coordinates, which is from Uncharted 1. Uncharted, like it's just, it, it just brings up references from every game where we need two pieces of the puzzle usually to go together or just like many pieces of the puzzle to get where we have to go. And Sully seeing the coordinates, he knows this is in the Philippines and he's like, I hear the weather's pretty good this time of year. He's down for the adventure. They're all looking at each other. Nathan Fillion gives him this devilish look and you know they're about to start the adventure. And I was, the only thing I was I was mad at was that it was over. And I was like, when is this movie coming out? Um, anytime soon because I need this in my life. I need this movie in my life. I need these characters in my life. I loved every second of it. I was so thrilled with it. Um, the reason why I'm, like I said, I'm not playing the entire video because uh, I already got a copyright strike for doing the Westworld review. I'm not about to have another one here. So um, that's why I'm doing the screenshot. So don't don't come for me for not showing the video. Okay, y'all have seen the video. So that's why I have the screenshots. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. What were your favorite parts? Did you get all the references? Did you love seeing all the references? Did you like the over the shoulder, the third person cam? Uh, as we started off into combat it was everything to me i loved it but that's just my opinion so let me know in the comments what you guys think would you like to see an uncharted movie um if it's done right if it's done like this this is what i've been trying to say i don't want an uncharted movie if it's not going to be good if it's not going to be done well don't give it to me i don't want it that badly but this if alan unger could direct a hollywood movie on this I'm in 100%. I'm already buying my popcorn. I'm already sitting in the seats. I got my tickets. Those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think. I am so excited for The Last of Us Part 2. That's the next thing from Naughty Dog. So hopefully we'll be hearing soon when that's coming out, but I won't hold my breath. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this analysis and my thoughts on this fan, live action fan film. I loved every second of it. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and my channel, leave me a like and subscribe. And if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back with more. So we finally have, oh, come on, why light? What, what, what? Really, bitch? Really fly?